The Dragon Hunter Crossbow. A weapon that gives you an accuracy and damage boost of 30% when fighting dragons and draconic creatures. It has a hefty price tag of 87 million GP. Is it worth selling your bank to buy one? Let's find out. We've sold our bank, we have absolutely nothing, no items at all, no money, no bolts, nothing. I'm not going to be using any untradables either because I want this to be completely from scratch so we're not just going to go and grab out void and then go around in void. Nope, we're going to have to make everything we use. So we're going to have to earn our first few GPs probably through pickpocketing or something so that we can buy ourselves some bolts and then we can get into a little bit of combat. Okay, that's enough. I went and got myself 75 arrows from the GE because I'm going to get myself an Ava's uh, device because I don't really want to be wasting bolts and obviously we're going to need an Ava's later on when we're using higher quality bolts. Right Ava, if I could have one of these devices, thank you very much. Unfortunately we can't get that yet, but we will definitely be doing some Vorkath at some point and maybe we'll get a lucky head and we can upgrade the accumulator. And while I go and get some bolts for the Dragon Hunter crossbow, a quick word from today's sponsor. A massive thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. Raid has hundreds of champions, bosses, millions of players, years of regular updates, and of course, PvP. I've been playing Raid for a while now, and these are a couple of champions I'm really enjoying. You guys know I love Christmas, so my first champion has to be Sir Nicholas. Pretty much Santa Claus with a massive ice sword. He does also have the ability to freeze enemies, which is really, really good in certain scenarios. And then my second choice has to be the Arbiter, one of the best PvP champions I've played with, mainly because she can revive fallen champions mid-battle along with some sick buffs. This month, Raid released their biggest update ever, the Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors, a bunch of secret challenge rooms, and 12 seriously difficult bosses to take on. As you progress through each floor, you'll get yourself a load of cool rewards. On top of that, they're releasing 14 new champions just in time for the holidays, along with a host of holiday events and tournaments. If you click the link in the description and you are a new player, you'll get yourself a free champion bulwark, 50 gems, an XP booster, some energy refills, and an ancient shard. All this treasure will be waiting for you up here in the top right corner. You click that and collect it all. But these rewards are only available for the next 30 days, so make sure you join now. And with the 66 GP left over, I think buying pink skirts is probably going to be a fairly good way of making some money. GE average 68. Okay, maybe not. Cool. Let's go and sell all of this and see how much profit we're going to make and hopefully buy some broad bolts so we can start uh, using this Dragon Hunter crossbow. Right, let's collect that to start with. 733 GP. Of course it is. There we go. The blue skirt. Wow, something just sold for a lot. What was that? 1k each? Okay, there you go. Money maker if you're watching this. Go and uh, go and sell those off quickly. Anyway, let's get ourselves some broad bolts and we should be good to go from here. And with the rest of the money, I'm going to buy myself a teleporter house. Nice. Just picked up a machete from the general store because we need to get through the web in the Forthos dungeon uh, so that we can get to the red dragons. I think they're going to be a fairly decent place to start. We can save spot them. Um, and then we'll probably move on to black dragons after, or, or brutal black dragons, because they are going to be banging GP. So from here, we can just save spot, use our rigor, and there is an altar right there to get the prayer back. It's a very, very nice place to come AFK. When you're on a rebuild, and uh, especially using a dragon hunter crossbow, this is going to be very, very quick kills. First kill coming in, and we get ourselves some rune. That's actually a really decent drop to go alongside. That's a nice 26 to take, plus a 14. All right, that's probably going to do. Let's have a look. Yeah, 20k right there. Let's chuck a home teleport. We'll probably have to run back to the GE now because I didn't really have enough money to buy some teleports. But we're looking pretty good. We're about 15 minutes in now. And uh, we're well on our way to start making some decent GP. There we go, 20k. And we're going to get ourselves an extended anti-fire for about 500 GP there. Uh, I'm going to pick up myself. Can we get a black dehyde set? We can afford a black dehyde set as well. So let's pick that up. 4k left over. And you know what? I think we're ready to go and hit some brutal black dragons up. A couple of kills here will easily, easily pay for everything we've got here. I think a kill is around 20k. So let's see how we do with our uh, black dehyde, broad bolts, and the dragon hunter crossbow. Imagine not buying a ranging pot. Like, what was I thinking? 
Anyway, first drop is going to be a Dragon Med Helm. Very, very nice. I'm actually going to pop off back to the GE. I'm going to get myself a uh, Ranging Potion just because that was such a dumb thing not to buy. But that is a very nice starting drop. Uh, let's do a quick price check on it so you guys can uh, see exactly what we're looking at there. 67k from one kill. That is just so, so nice. Going to get myself a glory with that money we just made as well. So let's quickly grab that. Gives us some teleports around as well. Very, very nice. Uh, is there anything else I could go ahead and buy? I think we might get ourselves an archer's helm. How much are they at the moment? 39k? Yeah, we could always sell it back. Let's take it. It looks so iconic. I love it. And we'll get some snakeskin boots because they are super cheap. Let's fire on back. Okay, that is going to be an inventory done. Ooh, and a dragon longsword. We will take that. Very, very nice. To be honest, guys, I'm not 100% sure, but I think we could be Vorkath ready. So uh, I'm going to send it back to the GE. We're going to sell all this off, see how much we've made. Um, and yeah, if we've got enough to go hit Vorkath, then why not? Because it's one of the best money makers in the game. And if you can go from nothing, literally pickpocketing guards to make enough money for an Avers to Vorkath in pff, 35 minutes then uh, this Dragon Hunter crossbow is massively worth buying. So, let's go ahead and do it. Oof, looks like we're going to hit 200k. I oh, know, just short of 200k. Very, very nice. I might actually go ahead and sell this. I feel like one of the, uh, like, Zamorak Dehyde coifs might actually be, like, cheaper slash better. 40k. Yeah, let's uh, buy one of those. Let's sell this back. And let's start getting some gear together. Okay, so we've got some sharks, prayer potions, some bolts, uh, both the diamond and ruby versions, and then we got the runes so we can cast Crumble Undead. I think we're ready to go, to be honest. I think we can kill Vorkath. Let's give it a go. Right, here we go. Let's set up the quick prayers, and uh, let's see how this goes. We are wrecking it. We are wrecking Vorkath. Like, disgusting amounts. That is insane how good that is. I didn't bring a bloody anti-venom. We're going to try and get the kill. I knew I forgot something. I knew there was something I forgot. There we go. There's the kill. And uh, obviously we took way more damage than we were meant to because we had the venom on us. And that is such a nice start. Dragon plate legs to kick us off. I'm going to head back home and uh, we're going to bring in anti-venom obviously. But uh, what a start there. That is 190k, the first kill from Vorkath. And it's easily doable. If we had an anti-venom with us, we'd be looking at an easy 2-3 kill trip there. That is a two-kill trip. Uh, probably could go for a third. Uh, just didn't really bring enough prayer, to be honest. So I uh, might need to bring three prayer pots in future. But let's do a quick price check of how much we made on this trip. 247k, not bad at all. Okay, I think we can get ourselves a Carol's Top. Uh, actually, it might be a skirt, actually. Yeah, skirt. 211k, so there's our first upgrade if we could have bought it uh, the reason for this is just a better magic defense um, it actually gives the same range attack bonus but I still want to get my uh... wow what is going on with the Carol's leather skirt there we go well overpriced we paid for that but that is going to be nice giving us that seven plus magic defense and the range very very nice Hey, I had to record this one for kiddos. There's the Dragon Battle Axe. Let me do a little price check on this uh, double kill. We're getting double kills every time now, guys. But uh, this was a really good one, I believe. <laughs> 347k from two kills. That is insane. So because we're making so much money, I upgraded to Manta Rays and to a Bastion Potion. And the difference they have made is huge. So if you are planning on a rebuild like this, they are two things you really should be aiming for. I think the Bastion is just, you know, just something else massive. And that is going to be a three kill trip. Pretty slow kill on the last one because I had to flick the prayer. But a decent, decent drop. We'll take that. That's going to be a lovely trip. Let's check this. This could put us into the territory of being able to afford our Fury, which would probably be one of the biggest upgrades we make. 251k there. I don't know if that's quite going to be enough. Let's go have a look at the bank. So we're up to 1.438. I don't think that is going to be enough. Yeah, it's just short. Just short. But it doesn't matter because they're going to buy some uh, Dragon Bolts at the moment anyway because we're a bit low on those. It's a big upgrade coming in. It is now the Fury we can buy. Let's go ahead and purchase this bad boy. Can we get it for that price? We can't. Oof, okay. 
That's annoying. This is going to give us more prayer and it's going to give us more defense. Absolutely huge. The stats looking really, really nice now. We're looking decent. The next things I want to upgrade is a Carol's top and probably some ancient boots. And then we're looking pretty, pretty good. And this is going to be a four kill trip, which is the most we have achieved as long as we don't lose it here. There we go. Four kill trip. Very, very nice. So let's see what we get. A Tortle Seed, not bad at all. We have easily enough to get ourselves some Guthix Dehyde Boots. They're 580k right now. Let's try and get them for 600. Wow, everything's super expensive. I don't know what's happened to the market. Let's try and get the Ancients instead then. 13. There we go. Very nice. Oh, we got them for 583. That is going to give us some very nice bonuses there and extra prayer, which is huge compared to the snake skins, which are horrendous. And the next upgrade we're going to go for is definitely this Carol's top. So we're getting to the point where I'm literally having to leave because I don't have inventory space. That is how good this setup is. It's just as good as a top, top setup in terms of being able to survive. Obviously, kills are a bit slower. Um, that was a 243, but we did get a 1, if we go here, 148, the kill before. So, you know, they're not exactly slow, bad kills. Um, and yeah, it's getting to the point where I just have to leave and drop manta rays because of how much food we have left over. Like, this is getting ridiculous. I've just got so much food. <laughs> it's so unnecessary. I really do not need to bring manta rays. But uh, it just shows how much this setup can do and how good it really is. I think this is going to be enough for us to get the Carol's top. I forgot my uh, anti-venom on this trip. or Well, I didn't have enough for all three of the kills. Yeah, three. Um, so yeah, we are a little bit venomed right now, but it doesn't really matter. Let's go and see if we're going to be able to afford this Carol's top. Oh, <laughs> we easily can. This is going to be insane. We're going to look so, so good. 1.5 mil. Really? Why is everything so expensive today? It's insanely expensive. Let's go to that then. Boom. We've got a little bit of our money back to be fair. Let's sell this off. And here we go. Chuck that bad boy on. We are looking amazing. So let's do a little price check and see how much we made total. So uh, we'll check the pots in and the GP in and stuff like that. Okay, so about 416k in stuff that really isn't too expensive. 488, 500k. Uh, let's drop that in. Takes us to 512. That takes us to 1.1 mil. That takes us to 1.3 mil. The leather top coming in for 2.7. 4.2 mil. And that is probably... Actually, we got these as well, I guess. So let's put these in. 4.249 mil from like three hours starting from absolutely nothing remember we were pickpocketing guards at the start of these three hours that is absolutely sick didn't get a vorkath head which meant we could have upgraded our accumulator which would have been really really nice and to be honest from here the big upgrades are things that cost quite a bit um, so it would just be a case of grinding for a few more hours to get yourself the armor dill, uh, the dragonfire shields exact etc etc so yeah very very cool I think this is great. Should you do it? 100% guys. 100%. If you can afford this bad boy and you've got Dragon Slayer done or Dragon Slayer 2, go ahead and do it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one.